you guys will remember that, uh, oh, it's starting to feel like ages ago that they did announce finally officially that there is a Craven the Hunter movie coming from Sony. For those of you who may not know, and I'm sure, sure most of you do, Craven the Hunter is like, he's sometimes defined as an anti-hero, but he's often been associated with being a big foil of Spider-Man. He's also fought Black Panther and Venom and he'll hunt anything. He is the great hunter. They also announced that Aaron Taylor Johnson, kick-ass himself, would be playing Craven the Hunter, and a lot of us got really excited about that. Well, there hasn't been a lot of information since. We had a little something a couple of weeks ago, but now we have something else just came out. A new casting just got done, and that is that one of the stars of the show, White Lotus, which a lot of people really like, Fred, and I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, Heshinger, is going to be playing Chameleon, who is, of course the half-brother of Craven the Hunter, at least in the comics, whether they say he's his half-brother in this or not, we'll have to see. Now, in Spider-Man Far From Home, we had the chameleon character, but it was played by a completely different actor and all that kind of stuff, so it was kind of irrelevant. But this is what we've got here. This is coming to us from folks over at Deadline who write the following. Uh, Fred Heshinger has joined Sony Pictures' Craven the Hunter, starring Aaron, Aaron Taylor Johnson in the title role. Although it's unconfirmed, sources say that Heisinger would be playing Chameleon, the brother of Craven in the movie. J.C. Chandor is directing the pick with Avi Arad and Matt Tomlock producing. Art uh, Macram and Matt Holloway and Richard Wank penned the script. So there we go. We got some actual real casting to talk about. This movie is apparently still actually happening in movie four. Now, they got to get things moving fast because as of right now, Craven the Hunter, I believe, is scheduled to come out in January of next year. So we're 11 months away, less than 11 months away from when this movie's supposed to come out. So I expect over the next couple of weeks, we're going to start hearing a lot of news about this movie coming out and a lot more casting stuff. And I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, Rob, you hear about this. Things are moving. I don't can't remember. Like, where's your anticipation level right now for a Craven? Is it something you're even looking forward to? Do you like Aaron Taylor Johnson? And what do you think about this new new edition? I, I love Aaron Taylor Johnson, you know. I, he was in a movie uh, Oliver Stone directed called Savages mm. that is based on the novel by Don Winslow. And I'm a huge Don Winslow fan, and I loved him. It's also in, got uh, John Carter. Uh, yeah, Taylor Kitsch. Taylor Kitsch yep. and Mrs. Ryan Reynolds. And it's got it's Blake got Lively. Blake, <laughs> Blake Lively. It's got John Travolta in it. It's a, got a great cast. I, I really like him, and I love the Craven. The, Craven, the Craven's Last Hunt storyline is one of my favorite Spider-Man storylines. I think this movie, I mean... Look, like Venom, I could say it'd be great if they had Andrew Garfield playing Spider-Man, but I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that for every Sony Spider-Man product uh, project. But they, you know, if if it were up to me, I would do that. I can't wait for this. I think it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think it's crazy that we're getting a whole Spider-Verse of villains over from Sony. You know, we've got Venom and Carnage. We're getting Morbius. Now we're getting Craven. I mean. What's not to love? Except Spider-Man isn't yet in any of these movies, but I hope that he will be. <laughs> By the way, on. I should point out that this image I had behind you, I'll bring it up here again. This image we have up on screen here, this was, of course, the treasure of the fan community, Boss Logic. This was oh, Boss yeah. Logic who put together a, a while ago an image of uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson as Craven. Hey, listen, um, Aaron, as somebody who does not watch White Lotus myself so oh. i mean i, I don't oh. watch the show i'm not familiar with it what i so i don't know much about fred heshinger should we be excited about this do you yes. like this move what do you yes. think yes yes i mean white lotus first of all just put it in your queue it's such a it it, it has a slow burn at the beginning because it's kind of one of those shows where you go this is just weird but i really like weird weird characters <laughs> weird story i i'm all I, the weirder it is the more i'm into it and white lotus is just weird from top to bottom but it all, all of these it's all of the stories end up coming together in a really cool way and you can read into it what you want or you can just enjoy the ride but fred heshinger really stood out to me his performance is so nuanced and exciting because you can't really tell from his performance initially if his character is supposed to be totally 
uh, neurotypical or perhaps not. He plays a very unique character in that um, we can't even tell whether he's neurotypical or he he's just simply um, a kid who's having trouble acclimating to his family. And what really comes out ultimately in the end is he is uh, a teenager who's just really looking for his place in the world. And the way that he paints this beautiful transformation of this character was so exciting to me to watch and he has really he has some great projects coming up he has a project with christian bale coming out that he's in pre-production on he has a nicholas cage movie which is always exciting because again <laughs> i like weird uh, this kid really has, sorry, excuse me, this young man really has a lot of cool things coming up. And his addition to the cast only excites me because it tells me again that, you know, Marvel is constantly seeking the hottest and most talented performers and people to work in these projects. And ultimately, when you're going after talent and not just a name, you know, it, it really speaks to the to what they're looking for. Well, and the thing, the great thing about Marvel is they do both. Yeah, they, exactly. They, they bring in great, wonderful talent that has no name. Then they bring in great name talent. And this kid obviously is right about to burst because people right. like me who loved him in White Lotus are already excited about it. But people like you who didn't see White Lotus are going to see him and go, oh, wow, this kid's really great. Let me go back and watch White Lotus to see more of the work he's done. Now, I thought I heard you use Pearson. Pamela and Tommy. He is in well. Pam and, and Tommy. And I don't remember. I love Pam. I don't remember. Yeah, I can't watch it. Tom is watching it. It's it's really it's it's bonkers. <laughs> it's no. You know what? It's actually it makes me so angry, and it raises mm. my anxiety when I watch it. I'm just like, oh my god. My friend Paul Ben Victor, who I'm seeing this weekend, plays the lawyer in Pam and Tommy. Oh, he's great. And I want. I'm gonna see him. It's gonna be so hard for me not to punch him in the face. I edited a movie that Paul Ben Victor oh, was in. Oh, he's the best. <laughs> that he probably never P -P -P. wants to admit that he was in it. But all right, guys, question I is love for him. you. Yeah. What do you think about this new? Well, first of all, we've got casting news for Craven the Hunter. What do you think about it? Are you a fan of White Lotus? What do you think of the addition of Fred? Probably playing comedian. However you feel about it, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take just a minute and thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Masterclass is offering classes on a wide variety of topics, like all taught by world-class masters at the absolute tops of their field. Each class is broken down out into individual video lessons, usually like around 10 minutes or so long, and members can explore at their own pace. And each class is supported by downloadable materials, lessons, recipes, or more that you can all find at masterclass.com. For example, are you into streaming? Well, you can take the Building Your Streaming class taught by ninjas so you can sharpen up on your streaming skills. Or if you're interested in independent filmmaking, take independent filmmaking from Academy Award winner Spike Lee. You want to get classes on how to direct? How about from Ron Howard? The very first one I personally looked up and got into was Business Leadership by the great Big Papa Iger, Bob Iger himself. And I was absolutely in enthralled with it. I love every single minute of this stuff. If any of those apply to you, you need to try Masterclass. So I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every Masterclass. And as a John Campy Show viewer, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to masterclass.com slash campia. Once again, to get 15% off your annual membership, go to masterclass.com slash campia.